Stacy here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the interesting part of Swift and show you how to get started with this new language. The first buzz on the social network about Swift is that you actually can use Unicode to name your variables. This is very cute. However, there are other points that make Swift such a unique language. First, you actually don't need semicolon anymore to break every line, just simply hit enter. And second, there is no break needed for switch cases. You can just keep typing and the compiler will just do the break for you. And third, you actually save a lot of brackets. You don't really need to have them for the if statement. Just by comparing the look of Swift and Objective-C, you can obviously tell Swift is a much cleaner and easier language for developers. It makes our life easier when it comes to iOS and Mac development. How to get started with Swift? So first, you actually need to become an Apple developer. Then you will be able to download the latest Xcode 6 beta. With those, you can actually create a project by using Swift. To create a Swift project, just open the Xcode 6 and click File, New, Project. We actually get to select what kind of language you would like to use. So just go with the default, click Next. Then we can choose our language, which is Swift. And it's name, test. Then here we have the project. All the code are in Swift. There is a new tool called Playground, which is included in the new Xcode. It's pretty much like a real-time tester for all the code, so we can actually see the result of what we are doing without really compiling all the project. So in order to get that, we just need to do File, New, File. Then here, we'll see an option called Playground. Just save this. You can see here, it's actually showing all the results of the code. Then we can say var three. Very cool. This is a really great way to play around with the code and definitely a good educational tool. The resource to learn this language is actually very limited right now. You only have a book that's published by Apple. You can find it on any of your iOS devices. It's in iBook. It's about 500 pages, but most of it is just covering the basic programming language, and I think you can go through it very quickly. The best way to learn it is probably just making an app in Swift. I hope you enjoyed this little intro to the Swift language. Bye for now! People often ask no, me we have a what should I use here. to make the Google Glass app. Should I use the I API, API or the GDK? Okay. 